Crocodile shears were iron tubes with teeth on the inside. They would be heated up and clamped on a man's penis as if it was the mouth of a crocodile. What's good YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at the worst punishments in history. I'm just glad I'm not in that predicament. If I was to get punished, you might as well just off me in GTA. If you're watching this from YouTube, make sure you guys are on the Discord and make sure you guys join us on Twitch for live every day. And without further ado, let's get started. That is one questionable attire right now. I'll let you cook, but this hat is a little suspicious. I'm glad it ain't pointy at the top. While crushing people's heads in medieval vices certainly doesn't happen anymore, the world is still home to some barbaric punishments today. Even in the most developed countries, you have things such as waterboarding or the brain wreck of being imprisoned in isolation. I don't know Kingdom, what any of that means. still happens in some countries, has been- Yo! No, 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 no. Why is there a stick next to his booty? Please do not tell me that this is another scene of, of Stranger Things. Get that broom away from this nigga's ass cheeks. It's been called beyond excruciating, while being stoned to death, we can imagine, must be an awful way to go. Facts. In 2008, reports emerged about a 13-year-old Somalian girl that had been buried up to her neck and stoned to death by 50 men. Her crime? Reporting a rape. Today we- That was just sad, bro. We will explore more insane meanness in this episode of the Infographic Show, Worst Punishments in the History of Mankind, Part 2. Number 10, The Brazen Bull. Also known as the Sicilian Bull, this brutal punishment was around in ancient Greece. How do we know? The Greek historian Diodorus Sicilus wrote about it in one of his many history books that covered various cultures of the time. He okay. writes that a bull would be fashioned out of bronze to almost the same size as a real bull. There was a door in the side of the thing through which people who were given the death penalty would be shoved. A fire was then lit under the bull and the person was roasted to death. It's even said that the bull was designed in a way so that the screams would be emitted to onlookers. If this sounds bad, well, by the end of the show, you might be thinking it wasn't such a bad way to die after all. Yo, 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 what is this? What is this? And y'all gotta also understand, bro, it's made out of metal, nigga. The heat from the shits make the metal even, like, worse to touch. Don't piss Roman people off, I don't know. Number 9, Iron Maiden. You might have already heard of the name if you're into heavy metal music. The band got their name from a torture device. It's thought that the okay. first of them was a 14th century Germanic invention, but throughout the following centuries, many historians would write about these devilish things. They kind of look like an Egyptian mummy, but the inside of the door is festooned with spikes. When it's closed, the person in the casket is impaled. As we said, no, 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 no. That's some shit you would see in like a magician lying about like killing someone. This is only number nine. What is worse than getting enclosed with needles? Even the PP gets pierced too. Some historians write that these things may not have been used or used often, but they certainly existed. Others write that they were talked about a lot in the 18th and 19th centuries to show how barbaric people used to be and how much better they were in their era. Number eight, crucifixion. We probably should have included this in the first show as it is a terrible way to die. As you'll know from reading Christian history, crucifixion involved tying or nailing a naked person to a wooden beam. If you didn't die of shock or sepsis or dehydration, then the animals around might feast on you. You might also- No, no, one thing I will say though, I think Iron Maiden the other one was worse. Because yeah, this one, you're just starving to death, don't get me wrong, but the other ones is like you have a needle going through you and a fire burning your, your skin. Also not know that it wasn't just popular in ancient times. The Japanese crucified people in the 16th century, the Burmese in the 19th century, and in some parts of the Middle East, crucifixion is still a legal punishment. Number seven, Spanish donkey. This is a donkey no man or woman would ever want to ride. If you saw our first show, the way someone would be tortured is similar to that of the Judas Cradle. Prisoners would be sat on what looks like a triangular shaped block of wood. You're telling me you have to cowgirl some spikes? You gotta fuck some spikes? You gotta ride some spikes? That is crazy, what? They even got some rocks below the feet, so she's getting pushed down the spikes. This wood might have nails on the ridge. They would be lowered down onto the sharpened ridge and sometimes pulled down by weights, which would cause excruciating pain. Some sources say this could result in the person being cut apart and dying. I like how the first, like the red mark they put is like, you know, under the cooch or like rectum area because they know that's like the part that is the most sensitive to doing that shit. French called it the chevalet or horse. A History Channel documentary says such a device was used during the American Civil War to torture Confederate prisoners. Okay. These prisoners would pass out from pain and sometimes be disabled for life. Number six, breast ripper. These awful things look 
All right, we're gonna have to talk about the name. If the punishment is what I think it is and y'all are ripping nipples, I hope it's not. Look like two pronged forks, similar to the fangs of a snake, except they were made from iron. Featured in the book, Victims and Values, A History and a Theory of Suffering, it said they would be heated up and then used to rip off a woman's breasts as a punishment. This would cause severe scar- Nigga, y'all got a titty torture? Y'all torturing the titties? Where I spice at? We, we need to test- No, 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 no. <laughs> The thing is like, how could y'all get that creative to the point where you're like, oh, like some of these punishments are so creative that I'm thinking like, how are people this evil? The titty twister is insane though. Whoever made that nickname, nigga. ...and the loss of breasts, but the infection that ensued would often kill the woman. The website Damn. Medieval Times at Castles writes, this instrument was mostly reserved for women accused of conducting a miscarriage or those accused of adultery. There are some reports that ISIS used a similar instrument on a female victim in 2014, except they called it the biter. The biter was used, according to reports, because some women were accused of not wearing the correct dress. Getting your titties ripped off because you didn't wear the right dress is insane to me. Number five, crocodile shears. Men, of course, did not escape such barbaric punishments related to their manhood. Crocodile shears were iron tubes with teeth on the inside. They would be heated up and clamped on a man's penis as if it was the mouth of a crocodile. This would result in castration, but again, in those days, such a punishment often meant a slow death from infection. I don't have to worry about that chat. First, we got the titty twister. What are we gonna call this one? The cock chomper? <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I got my meat chopped off chat, I don't know what to do at that point. Evil Times and Castles writes, the crocodile shears had a very specific purpose, to mutilate those who attempted to assassinate the king. One other writer tells us, after ripping off the penis, they would rip off other things like your fingers or toes. Attempting to, or actually killing a king, regicide, was considered the worst of the worst, and so of course it warranted a punishment which would prevent any man from ever trying it again. I mean, I don't know if the right punishment for a failed assassination is to rip their meat off. I don't know. Maybe you could have went with the arms. Maybe you could have just assassinated them, but chopping off their meat? Uh, you just don't want them to smash again, and you know, it's cool. Could have been worse. You could have gotten the iron comb. This was a heavy comb with sharp spikes run over the flesh until there wasn't much of you left. People often got combed, and then if that didn't finish them, they lost their heads. That nigga has so thick, it probably took him like three slaps to the ass for it to do some real damage. <laughs> what? Two, three, and it was still blubbering that bit. The nigga probably survived that one, bruh. Number four, the Chinese torture chair. That okay, sounds scary. So this is another piece of horror apparatus that may have been used only to scare the living daylights out of a populace. Jigsaw from the Saw franchise would have been envious of this chair had he been real, of course. We actually found one of them on a museum website with the present owner listed. So they did exist. The chair is made from wood with 12 steel blades in the arm, back and footrests and seat. It's said in Europe, a chair was used, although we refer to that simply as the iron chair. This might have had 500 to 1500 spikes for the victims to sit on. How much spikes on a chair? Nigga! Yeah, nah, 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 nah. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like if I ever got caught on like a secret mission or whatever, and you had to rat your whole group out, are y'all ratting? Or else you're gonna get punished. He lives there, Matt lives there, Orion lives there, he lives there, boom, everyone's gone, everyone's gone. Sometimes hot coals would be placed under the chair for added pain. One historian writes, the spikes did not penetrate vital organs and blood loss was minimized, at least until the person was released from the chair. We can't imagine the outcome was good once the prisoner was released. The fact that the chair doesn't kill you until after you get up and the blood loss afterwards. Okay, there's a difference between simply just killing someone and actually punishing them so that they could feel their pain. That is an actual punishment. If you were supposed to smash someone that sat on the chair, you have like 80 holes to choose from. Number three, Chinese water torture. You might be thinking, what is this doing here among instruments that cause extreme physical pain? Well, perhaps being sent crazy, slowly, might be even worse than losing a body part or two. The torture consists of slowly dripping water on one part of the head, and apparently, after enough time, this will become absolutely unbearable, making the victim mad. Mythbusters tried it out to see if it indeed works, and the person didn't last long at all. After not even two hours, he asked the experiment to stop, complaining of claustrophobia and shoulder spasms, and saying he was starting to crack up. Imagine days of this. You already know this shit easy. What? I could do this. If I had a channel like Mr. Beast, I would attempt that. Me personally, you know, I'm basically John Wick. Water drops to my head. You know what I'm gonna do? Look, 100 IQ play. Yo, pause. I know that looked crazy, but you guys get the memo. Water triplets in your mouth, all right? Problem solved, nigga. Skeptics are not sure it would be so effective. There's only one way to find out. 
Number two, coffin torture. The problem with this is the fact that it took you ages to die. It was very popular in the Middle Ages and used to scare people away from committing crimes. Victims would be hung up from a beam or tree inside a kind of coffin, a wooden prison with holes in it. It would be so small that the person was bent into a painful position. Oh, they were no. then just left there. People might throw stuff at them, prod them with sticks, etc., and they would stay there until they slowly died. Even after death, they were left there until the birds had picked apart their flesh and there wasn't much of them left. The lucky ones were allowed down alive if their crime wasn't so bad, perhaps. And finally, number one, scaphism. One of the more creative tortures that has ever existed, this Persian method of execution is like no other. According to the book, One Bloody Thing After Another, The World's Gruesome History, the victim was forced to eat a large amount of milk and honey, so much he would throw up a attracting ants and vermin. He was also covered in honey. Apparently, most of this honey would be smeared around the eyes, nose, mouth, and genitals, and also in the- Now you got be stinging your dick. No, how do you get this creative? In the ears and the anus. He would then be tied between- Wait, wait, bones, where else? Nose, where mouth, else? And genitals, and also in the ears and the anus. He would- You got bees going up your asshole? That's where I draw the line, right? You got the ass and the cock? <sighs> Hey, those some freaky ass bugs, bro. You telling me they're bugs like genitals? He would then be tied between two boats in a stagnant piece of shallow water where he would be feasted on by all manner of insects and four-legged scavengers. One Byzantine historian wrote, Moreover, his belly, distended as it is with milk and honey, throws off liquid excrements and these putrefying breed swarms of worms, intestinal and of all sorts. Thus, the victim lying in the boats, his flesh rotting away in his own filth and devoured by worms, dies a lingering and horrible death. He is basically weird. eaten from the inside out, or he might be lucky to die sooner than that. Point is, just thank God that our punishments in America is just going to jail. If you thought the death penalty was a bad thing, hey, at least you didn't sign up for beasts to go up your ass. <laughs> so just be thankful for that and stay safe. If you're watching this from YouTube, make sure you guys join the Discord and make sure you guys join us on Twitch. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe. Wax up for life. Love y'all. And peace.